testing, testing. Oh, well, my phone. I'm really close to your table. Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm here today with a very special guest. I have my dear friend, Kamui. Hi. Kamui, as you can tell, is another Lolita. Kamui, will you tell us what you primarily wear? Yes. So um, I'm a big fan of classic and gothic, but I will dabble in sweet if it's brown or Alice in Wonderland theme. That's true. You do have quite a range. Kamui is here today because we are going to be doing a style swap. Um, now, I have dressed Kamui up before, but mostly in like um, casual clothes for my brand, my Violet. I've never seen Kamui in like a super uh, sweet cord, so that's going to be really interesting. And I personally have never done any sort of gothic Lolita cord or anything other than my typical super sweet. So I'm very excited to see the transformation. For people who don't know, what is like the primary difference between like gothic Lolita and sweet Lolita, other than obviously the colors? Um, so I think for me, uh, like a really key gothic look is a lot more sleekness and a lot more like sinfulness. I know like I look like just like a void of darkness right here, <laughs> you know, but I have like a little back colored blouse and you can see buttons and I have like these long like sleeves or like kind of like more mature and I have like a really simple headdress. And that's like the thing that I like the most about gothic yeah i feel like goth has a, a little bit more of a subtlety to it whereas the suite that you typically see is like ott suite or it's like pastel vomit suite where it's just like all the colors all the things um i really love kamui's style for that specific reason it is a little bit more like mature and sophisticated i think also a big thing is uh, probably prints too so with, with gothic i really like that it's usually architectural i really like stained glass dresses too a lot and i think that really adds to that kind of like gothic era like um architecture that's really popular mm -hmm, for gothic mm -hmm. Lolita. and that's what i really like too is that like you know i don't got like rainbows and cupcakes and like unicorns all like having a fun birthday blast i'm like no i i just i have a date and, like, yeah that's... you definitely have like your own separate motifs in gothic that you kind of stick to. I know that Kamui has picked out an outfit for me. I, however, have not picked out my outfit for her yet. We are luckily in my closet, so we have a lot to choose from. Is there anything that you specifically don't want to see yourself in? Any colors? Any motifs? Not really, actually. I think anything, like the brighter the better. Okay. I, oh, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, please, like the nuts. It. Like, I think the only thing is, is I, I just probably style my hair just because I don't yeah. have the tools or, or, the, totally time, or the patience fair. for it, you know? That is But fair. I mean, I have like, I have so much hair that like, you can just stick a bunch of clips in it and it would work out. I yeah. Out, you know? uh, I mean, in my opinion, a lot of the things that like you are harder to change about yourself, like your hair, your skin color, your tattoos, like they don't really count towards your cord. They're just like the base and then you build your cord on top of it. So like, so outfits aside, we are going to be doing each other's makeup to kind of match uh, the styles. We both have our base foundations on and I think that's where we're going to start. Okay, here we go. I'm basically doing to Kamui what I do on my own face for Sweet Lolita, which is just a light pink shimmer shadow on the lids, some blush on the apples of her cheeks with some highlighter, and then I top it off with a dolly lash. At the last minute, I decided to give her some fake freckles because you can't go wrong with fake freckles. Okay, this is a finished makeup. She's a true sweet Lolita now. I'm gonna have Kamui do my makeup and then we're gonna do the outfit switcheroo. Okay, so turn you into demented darkness. Yay! Raven. I would tell you what Kamui did to my face here, but I have no idea, so let's move on. Um, here's the makeup. It is unlike anything I've done in decades, but it's very goth, so I'm excited. I I don't know exactly what I want to put you in, um, but I'm thinking it should be like a big print since that's like the opposite of what you normally wear. Let's go like super sweet. I'm thinking... We're gonna do milky one oh. in yellow, the best colorway. Don't tell anyone. And it still has the tag with that, so we're gonna have to take that off. Um, yeah, it's fine. 
Uh, yeah. Okay, so the thing about a lot of Lolita dresses is that they are free size. They're made for one size. So they will fit both me and Kamui. But blouses tend to be a little more difficult. I think I have like a bodyline blouse that we might be able to like cinch on you. So let's see. Okay, so this is going to be the top. We're going to do this GSK. Um, and then I believe I have the matching head bow. And I'm just going to like spin around in a circle and throw accessories at you. Imagine. It's going to be great. This is technically Lolita underwear. I am in Lolita. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, I like my aerocord. Scandalous. <laughs> Ridiculous. Wait, turn around. I want to show them this adorable bow I just did. Look how cute. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we have the dress on. It's gorgeous. Now I am trying to find different accessories um i know i have a lot that matches yellow so i'm just gonna like look for yellow okay so i definitely lost like two pairs of wrist cuffs that i was gonna put her in but it's okay we're gonna go with these they're just pink they match the top and then you want to hold those for me yeah go ahead put them on pass those bad boys on and then i'm gonna give her the roji roji socks they are the ones that i'm wearing in yellow yeah, those will look super cute with it. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to throw a bunch of stuff on her head. Oh, yeah, I do have the headband, which is cute. But it's, like, really super stiff. So I might have to do some shaping there. I also have this cute yellow little pillow guy. That's pretty cute. Okay, so she goes there. Go ahead. Okay, guys, I have truly outdone myself. Oh my god, how freaking cute is she? Literally, you look like you came out of a GLB scan. How do you feel? Big. Yeah, it does have a lot of poof with Sweet, especially Milky Planet. And then I have the, um, what is it? Aurora and Ariel. Aurora yeah. and Ariel petticoat under, which just gives, like, the most poof ever. This looks like this is what you wear normally. I'm going to get into my outfit and then we'll do some like shots of us together. Okay, so we have the top on. Can you tell us about the top? Yes, so this is a Tunita Perot's Sharing Princess blouse. A classic, can't go wrong. Amazing blouse, by the way. Um, As you can see, it fits her very well. And what's the dress? So this dress, it's my baby. I adore it. I love it. Again, it looks like a shapeless blob on here, but we'll do some decent shots. It's got that corset tree. It's got really, really, really long ties. Nice first, anyways. Gotcha. Okay, so they would gonna... be fucking impossible to put on. <laughs> we're gonna do these, and they are. Matier. Thank you. <laughs> They yes, are, yes. Yeah. These are, are, are we recording? Oh, yeah. Okay. We are. <laughs> so these are, these are Matier's uh, alter over the knee socks. Uh, I love them so much. They have like little bats flying and <laughs> nice little alter going on. Okay. Feels good. All right. Ready for some more stuff? Yeah. Let's okay. I got, I got so much <laughs> stuff. All right. I have two options here. Okay. So I've got, I've got this, um, <sighs> Maybe the star shine bright. I think it's called like laterally spindle headdress or something like that. It's a very recent, recent release. Let's try that one. And then over here, I have uh, the Angel Pretty uh, Magic Amulet headdress and veil. The veil is not detachable, which is a little unfortunate because I always love detachable veils. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is really this nice. This is really nice. Let me see what this one looks like. I feel like it might look a little costumey on me, but I don't think it will. Okay. Whoa. I don't know. I think Whoa. it. I th my vote. You want, you want to do I, this yeah. one? Okay, oh, yeah. let's do it. So I have this absolute poop mentor head coat. <laughs> for the, the tea party, for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, but if you like something smaller, you know, or if you're no, like, oh, this I, is not okay. okay. I think the only thing we have left is shoes. And? For both of us. Oh, and... <laughs> We're gonna do it. I finished getting Laura all dressed up. Gothic Laura, everybody. 
Here it is. I feel like I look amazing, but also like haunted. You look like you came out of a client longer. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah see, see. Okay, you've reached the end of the video. Let me know if you like to see more videos like this. I'd love to do more like this in the future. And until then, see you later.